Hello everyone, Supersonic Blue here, and welcome to another Red Dead Redemption 2 campaign mission here on the channel. So today, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing this mission here with Dutch. Um, we're back in Saint uh, Den Denny, and um, what I should say um, of what you, what not to do. When you're coming in. So I was delivering a bounty in, but I didn't want anyone to see me face. So I put a mask on, right? Which was fine. And all that. People were shot and like, whatever. But you took it to the police station, didn't ask any questions. As soon as you exit the police station, they want you to take it off. If you don't, you get a $15 bounty straight away with cops shooting you. So, highly recommend. And I, I know that part of personal experience, because it just happens to be I had to go to bloody roads to claim my bounty. Um, so, so yeah, if you don't want to get a bouncer in St. Denis, don't wear a mask or a bandana over your face or anything, because you will get bouncers on you. So, anyway, this mission here with Dutch is, ba -ba -ba, if we have a look, see over. Dutch and John plan to meet you in the park opposite Mr. Bronte's house. So... We found we've obviously located Mr. Bronze. So uh you know let's go and meet Dutch. That house, yep, that looks like a big house. Alright, uh, there is Dutch there sat down. Oh yeah, we skinned an alligator before. It's not perfect. It's 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 good, Nick, but not perfect. So you never know when I need it. If I need cash, which I won't. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just see some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Oh, I hung him wrong on. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Okay. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a brother? I got this. Yeah, I've got a friggin' <laughs> rifle on the, on the back of me. And throwing knives and a pistol. <laughs> Apart from me. Straighten a couple of things out with your boss. <laughs> Look at that shotgun he's got. That looks lethal. Hello, how are you all doing? So we're gonna burn this place to the ground as well. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone, and you have took his son over some dispute with some 
inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> That's the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John okay. Morrison. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> Do something for him but, first. Uh, yeah, there we go. Should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Okay. So we're getting some bloody grave robbers. I wonder which mine is. Oh yeah, the one with the big alligator skin on the back. Oh, now, boy. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were gonna okay. hold Jack Branch. For all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. And let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Fucking not stop okay. down here. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Okay, I've picked up a shotgun instead. I, uh, whatever. And my horse needs a groom. So it's like we're gonna be popping some grave this robbers. Way. Right, I can't honestly see him being right at the front. Be towards the back, I reckon. Both seem to have taken this side. Oh. Mm -hmm. They can hear us, you know. 
You're still with us. You should get yourself home. Okay. We're just sneaking and getting over as quick as we can. They're in a bloody crypt. The hell? No. Damn it. Okay, it's a repeater. How many you Three, four, you Mr. Ooh, that was a headshot. Fucking hell, they've run off. What went to what? You all right? I'm fine. I think that's all of them. All right. Now let's find their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. There's me heart. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. They got plenty of money on them. Let me just uh I know there's another guy somewhere, it's back there. Back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. I'm just i I'm just robbing myself, don't worry. Right. Come on. Let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. Well, I think there might be something in here. Well. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. We best stick to the side. How the frick did he see me? Oh no. I don't understand how they saw me then. Oh god, there's a 30 dollar bounty on me already. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Ow! It's off, will you? Oh shit! How did this happen? I just hugged the wall. That's all I did. Yeah, this happened last time. Hundred thirty dollar bounty. Basically, you got to get out into this, if you can, into the, uh, city. City? Dawn? Whatever you want to call it. There we go. Oh, shit. That way, that way, that way, that way, that way, that way. No, they've spotted me again. No, I'm gone. We might go away. We might go away. No! Fuck! Him, 
Right, come on, out into the... Out into the countryside. Right, just wait here. Jesus, my horse is knackered. I was dead. I thought I could lose him in the streets, I nearly did, but Looks like we lost him for now. Come on. Let's just get there. Come on, quick! Let's get back to Dutch. Well it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You alright? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. Right. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Ah! Like I said, you took your time. <laughs> I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Looking, Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, okay. Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Oh, God, what's he got planned now? Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Ha! Moving up! I hear you! Alright, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> it's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs, one for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then. <laughs> Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Jeez. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Hey! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> Did you ever eat that? 
Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. What's he wearing? I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. <laughs> well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boys say thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Four fifty two two five a hundred and twelve fifty. Nice. Right, so Oh well uh, we're having a we're having we're having some berries, aren't we? So Oh no, we don't want a song. Right. Um So basically what happens now is while we do that, they start singing. Um you can get hammered. Um But uh if you want to just progress the mission all you gotta do is go to your camp and go to sleep, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um now. So that's where we're gonna leave it for today. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, also, that bell icon for future video updates like this. And I'll see you all later. Bye bye.